they're good for all day. Okay. And they come and go on at one time. Well, first of all, just having these events in in terms of prestige is great, but then, you know, the money, I mean, that helps, you know, all of our businesses as well as, you know, it puts money in our, uh, our city coffers as well, you know, in terms of tax base. Now, there are different ways to gauge effectiveness, but when the Birmingham Visitors Bureau estimated the impact of the 2015 Conference USA tournament, it certainly was quantifiable at almost $10 million. It's a significant economic impact, yeah, for our community. Basically, any, any uh, money spent when you're here. So, I mean, you mentioned hotels, you know, uh, certainly when you go out and eat, you know, uh, go to a restaurant, bar, or, uh, you know, spend money on gas. With restaurants and two hotels surrounding the basketball arena, the block is laid out so that fans can make their economic impact in various ways. And this is why this complex and this area is so, you know, so interesting and so cool because, you know, the BJCC and its arena, you know, drives a lot of our traffic down. During the specific weekend, the Alumni Association of Western Kentucky preserved the Todd English Pub two hours before tip-off of their evening games. Gatherings such as that spike profits for the restaurant while forcing certain adaptations. It can be the difference between four, five, six thousand dollars. It, you know, it really depends per day. Having a, an event in and out menu, for example, and we can say to our guests, like, if you've got to be at the game or if you've got to be anywhere within 30, 45 minutes, choose these things from the menu. It, it will be, you know, a benefit to you to do so. After fans leave the restaurant and they have just a few dollars left in their wallet, they somehow seem to lose it. On the way to the Birmingham Jefferson Convention Center. I need uh, four tickets to the WKU game. $88. Stadium goers can spend money on tickets, team merchandise, and concessions. But the evidence lies in an item that can't be found next to the popcorn and pretzels. You know, really the, the proof will be in the pudding as far as attendance. With the UAB men's team advancing to the championship round, patrons pack the arena for three consecutive nights, sending more bucks to the city of Birmingham and something else to the people in the city. Having great championship basketball in our, in our town, you know, I think that adds to our quality of life and, you know, people just enjoy uh, having big events in Birmingham because we're a really sports enthusiastic town.